Sam had eyesight up until the age of 15. Numerous eye diseases took over her eyes until she became 96% blind. So I used to have really good vision and then it slowly disappeared. Adjusting to her new normal wasn't easy, she explains, but it wasn't impossible. Living a life in the dark, you just kind of acclimate. You can have a choice. You can live your life in misery or you can live your life to the fullest. And I enjoy life. I love to water ski. I love to go hiking. I love the Black Hills. It's my home. And just because I'm blind, it doesn't stop me from doing anything I want to do. Pam worked for 22 years in the restaurant business and worked her way up to general manager. She's now a stay-at-home mom and volunteers at her church. When she found out she could apply for a guide dog, she jumped at the chance. Once accepted, she trained with Blossom for three weeks, who already had about two years of training under her harness. The dogs are paired with handlers based on many facets. Pam and Blossom were a match made in doggy heaven. Oh my gosh, it was love at first sight. <laughs> The nonprofit organization Guiding Eyes for the Blind in New York provides trained dogs to people who are blind or visually impaired at no cost to them. While in training, Pam learned how to use the leash and harness, and the duo became a team, an opportunity she is grateful for. Because of the donations and the love of people that make it happen. And, it, and once you're accepted into Guiding Eyes for the Blind, you are family. Once they got home, their relationship grew. They established daily routines, learning new routes and destinations. Blossom is a typical dog who loves kisses and belly rubs, but also loves to work. And once that harness is on, Blossom becomes a professional, guiding Pam through life. I mean, I feel so much more independent being able to have a dog versus a white cane. Trust her that she's going to get me to wherever I need to go, no matter what. And not only that, but it's like, um, a sense of, you know, um, you don't quite feel so alone. Anya Mueller, New Center One.